Hey, welcome back. So this is just going to be a real quick video. I'll show you installation of the Hamilton Hamilton camshaft. It's just the uh, towing one, uh, 178, 208, so nothing special about it. And um, anyway, the process that that uh, I do, putting the putting the lifters in and everything else. So here we go. Here's the lifter and using a cutoff dowel with an eyelet in it. To attach the string to. So. And then everybody does it a little bit differently, but we've got uh, the strings on attached on each one. Just using a tray and then dropping the string through the push rod hole. And this the tray was was constructed from a downspout, aluminum gutter downspout, and that's what's working for us. So, yeah. Thin. And then uh, each one has a separate string to it. So we'll do the last one now. He's already down. Just a standard magnet, put in there. Did I get it? No. Screw it up here. Oh, is it the wrong one? No. It's not down there yet. There it is. I 
remove that, but that's fine. Well, you can pull that out when you turn that to line it up if you want to make sure it's lined up. You can pull it out and have your wrench put on there. Turn it out, you can hit my hand. Oh, can you? Yep. I forgot to show the installation of the uh, thrust plate on the camshaft, so it's already in there. I'm just putting the bolts in. Um, they say to use a red Loctite. Uh, I've got way too much on there. Ran down the threads. And then uh, torque it to 18 foot-pounds. Book says 18 foot pounds with red Loctite, so that's what we got. There's that. I should have done this before I put the, the front case in or the camshaft in. I've got the dowel uh, retaining pin on there. And then you can't see them now, but there's the, the five holes, the five bolts behind the timing gear there, and then uh, the one there. Uh, and those are torqued to 18 foot pounds, and I used blue Loctite on it. And the other bolts here is just holding the case on to keep it in line and let the seal. I used a little bit of RTV on the seal or on the gasket. So now the next step is now that the camshaft is in, I can pull all the strings. I can pull all the strings and the dowel. I don't know if you can see it. Now I can go back here and pull all the dowels out of the and of the lifters and the lifters will drop down onto the camshaft and then I can go on to the next step but just a little uh, update some people do it a little bit different so this is just one way so there we go let me go on to the next step I've got all the string pulled out so all the lifters are sitting on the camshaft uh, maybe you can't see it All the lifters are sitting on the camshaft now. So I'm going to drop push rods in and move on to the next step. Everybody's got their own formula for, um, let's say, grease for camshaft and whatnot. I've used just a, a Molly Graphite a grease for installing cams and lifters for years, and I've never had any issues with it. And like I said, some people do white lithium some people use other stuff this is what I've used forever so that's what I will use today I kept the push rods in order some people do that even though they're new lifters the uh, rocker arms to say rocker arms are the same I said some people keep me in order some people don't it's just a preference Of 
clean the push rods so there's no dirt on them. It's the same grease I used for the tappets and for the camshaft. I just forgot to mention it when I was installing it. You probably all know this anyway. it until the oil gets there. On another note, I got my injectors back from the company I purchased them from. I sent them back just to make sure that they were the same injectors that I originally put in after taking it to the shop when they did all that shady stuff to it. I just wanted to make sure that they didn't change any of the injectors, or at least number six, because it's obvious they had the tube out. So they were the same injectors. I'm just running a seven by eight and a half injector. And that's just a little bit bigger than the, the factory injector size. Okay, there we go. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. I, uh, the primary goal was to get the camshaft in and uh, I've got that accomplished. And lifters are, or I'm sorry, yeah, lifters are in, push rods are in, and so the next step is putting the timing gear cover on. I have to install the seal still, and uh, I'll work on that probably tomorrow and see if I can get this thing buttoned up. But anyway, that's all I have for now. I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.